She was a music and movie icon with talent that comes along once in a lifetime. Thanks to devoted fans at a hometown that loves her, she won't be forgotten. Join us as we remember the one and only Tina Turner. Welcome everybody, thanks for taking the off ramp to adventure. We are in Brownsville, Tennessee, or pretty darn close to it. We are anyway. close to we are close to a lot of things. Memphis, we are close to Jackson. But the best thing is, is right behind us is the Delta Heritage Center See and that? Yeah. Tina Turner Museum. We did not know this existed till literally hours ago. We were headed somewhere totally different. We saw this, we go, oh man, we are such fans. We didn't know. She was that close. Tennessee is popular for country artists, but we had no idea there oh. was a museum for Tina. Oh yeah, but they're also really well known for blues. And behind us, kind of this way, that way, is a big blues concert. We just talked to an older gentleman that is playing here. We can't wait to hear him. They have got food everywhere. We're so excited to be in Brownsville, Tennessee today. I get the feeling we're gonna be here a while. There's nowhere to park. It's, it's a party. Come with us, guys. We're Jim and Vanessa. Thanks for taking the off-ramp to adventure. There it is, the official Delta Heritage Center, the Tina Turner Museum, Brownsville, Tennessee. I had no idea. I've heard about Nutbush, but not about Brownsville. Today, we're getting a history lesson. Like I said, we had no idea this place existed. Look at these cool pictures. Hemi Nixon, and of course, Miss Tina, otherwise known as Anime Bullock. It's not just music, it's a car show. It's motorcycles, it's everything. Lots of music going on. Oh man, we had no idea. Of course, it's the one with Tina on it. Yeah, because it's got the Delta um, Heritage Center on it, so okay. that's the one I want. We'll take that one. I remember Tina from the Ike and Tina Turner Review back in the 60s. And then when she played the Acid Queen in, in the rock opera Tommy. Have you seen that? If not, you need to check that out. She is awesome. But what really got me was Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. Every time she'd call Mel Gibson, Raggedy Man. Man. I love that lady. Purple's your color, you know that. I know that. Oh, yeah. We can only get it in red or green, so... We're gonna get this one because it's got our picture on it. That's a cool, it's a cool t-shirt. This museum we're in covers a lot of topics. Tina being one of them. Look at this. Then you get this kind of I gotta check this out. Like this guitar. This is just interesting. Field organ. Very tiny. Of course, gotta get an Elvis. Oh man, like it. They were much. And of course, Miss Tina. Gotta get her in here. Look at this. After a trip through the West Tennessee Museum and the Delta Heritage Center, we stepped next door to see the one-room schoolhouse Tina went to that also housed the museum in her honor. This is Tina's old schoolhouse. It's one room. Her uncle actually built it. And look at this. This is like, really, you could tell it's just genuine scratchings. I used to carve into desks too when I was a kid. Don't tell anybody, okay? The chalkboard. And it's so weird to know that Tina actually went to school here. What a lot of people don't know is that Tina had to work the cotton fields. That was part of being a sharecropper's daughter. Every kid that was able had to go out and work the cotton fields.
Just a couple of steps away is the museum honoring Tina in the schoolhouse. Tina was born Anna Marie Bullock, November 26, 1939. She married Ike Turner when she was 16 after leaving home for St. Louis. This led to her fronting the Ike and Tina Turner Review, which was huge. Her first gig singing was with Ike's band, The Kings of Rhythm, when they were playing at the Manhattan Club in St. Louis. Her first recording was in 1958 under the name Little Ann on the single Box Top. Her first success on the charts was with a song called A Fool in Love in 1960, reaching the number two spot on the charts. Their big break came when they opened for the Rolling Stones U.S. tour in 1969. Here's a page from her yearbook. That's her. She came to prominence for me during the 80s after Mad Max and on the Thunderdome. I love that movie. Her song, Simply the Best, What's Love Got to Do With It, and of course, we don't need another hero from the Mad Max soundtrack. Next door to the schoolhouse was the home of the iconic blues guitarist John Adam Estes, aka Sleepy John Estes, or John Sleepy Estes in some articles. It said he's influenced artists from the Beatles to Bob Dylan and Led Zeppelin. You can tell this is authentic. Look at that. Okay, I remember these chairs. Turns out when in Rome we're doing as the Romans do. Listening to the blues, getting some white pork skins, fresh. I tell you what, I have heard of some of these festivals they have down here. This is amazing. I told Jim I just don't want to leave. I just want to keep sitting here and listening to everybody. I remember one thing was I wish we would have brought chairs, man, and now she wants <laughs> barbecue. I hope you guys are enjoying these more vlog style videos that are a little bit longer, a little bit more detailed. A little more of a feeling that you're there kind of thing. Yeah. Because we're getting a lot of bonus video today. We had no idea where we were going to get. Well, considering this time yesterday, we didn't even know about this place. So we're getting some great stuff. Oh, man. And fun fact. Yeah, what? <laughs> Hurry, tell So us. in the song, Nutbush City Limits, Nutbush is not a city. It's just a, what is it? A, it's an incorporation. It's an incorporation, yeah. So when she sings that, that's just an interesting thing. There never was a Nutbush City. Yeah, it's not actually a town. It's okay. They gave us Tina. That's all that counts. We got to get over to where the food is. We got to cross the ditch over there. But they've got a handy little bridge. So we'll take the bridge. This is cute. Look at this. Did you see this? I don't know what it is. It looks like a lunchbox or something. <laughs> slush, slush fun. That's, that's just fun. Guys, with any vlogger, we've got to show you what we're eating. It, it, it's a law, I think. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Barbecue sauce. Polish sausage. Oh, you're going to eat that all by yourself. Yeah, and I've never had barbecue sauce on a Polish sausage, so I'm kind of looking forward. But I do know the lady we bought it from oh. makes the sweet tea, and this is the best sweet tea ever. Mighty good sweet tea. Ever. If you're from the South, it, it's it's pretty much a must. Gotta have gotta have sweet tea. I've got my own, so I'm not gonna be jealous any longer. Can you say nummy? Oh man, look look at this. It's great eating an apron though. Really. Eating an apron. There's so many people here at this Blues Fest, it's amazing. And of course, connected to Tina so shortly after her passing, it's just an incredible get together today. So how do you like the fried pork skins? <laughs> the hot ones. Are they hot? They're really hot. Oh, she's sweating. Uh, <laughs> and they're salty. Yeah, but they're good. Jim loves these things. I do, and but these, these are a little hot. Yeah, Hello. and I never, I was, I was raised eating these things. My mom thought these were everything. You had to have pork rinds every time you ate. But these, wow, they're hot. I think they used habanero. 
Anyone remember the Ohio players? They had a song called Fire. Oh man, I'm on fire. Wow. How are you handling that? I'm eating another one. <laughs> oh, make Jim. Okay, I get it. These are so good. They are good. I can't feel my tongue, but they're really good. <coughs> It's turning out to be an amazing day. Like we said, we didn't even know the Tina Turner Museum existed until a few hours ago. Now we're here in the middle of it, Big Blues Festival. Oh, and tomorrow night. Oh yeah, they're having a tribute to Tina at her schoolhouse. Yeah, which is where we were at, yeah, which is where, where all of her, yeah. Her. Where the museum and part of it is still the school. It's just amazing. The history, the, the legacy she left behind. Especially here. We gotta make a trip to Nutbush, which isn't that far away. And we're gonna see it before the day's over. Hang around. We're taking you with us, Tina. We're heading to Nutbush. City, City limits. limits. <laughs> Beyond the Thunderdome, and I definitely like We Don't Need Another Hero. I mean, that's that's kind of a given. He answered the exact things that I would say. I think we've been together way too long. Jim, Vanessa, and Tina are going to Nutbush. And we are here, Tina Turner's Nutbush, unincorporated. This is the general store it used to be. This is where everybody came to get everything they needed. Not anymore. You see where the gas pumps used to hang out. Look at this, somebody left flowers evidently. Tina's memory. This is where they came. Buy everything they needed. And I don't think much has changed in a long time. Of course, it's not active anymore. But at one time, you can see you can get a plate lunch. I can't read it all. Cheese, the cheeseburger, hamburger. Can you see it? And of course, being so close to Memphis, they had to have barbecue. It was just a Tennessee thing. Can't see anything. Look at the gears of paint. Will flake off. This is amazing to be actually where Tina was at one time. I mean, before she was Tina Turner, back when she was Anna Mae. It's incredible. Across from the store is the gin company. And before this was here, her father was a sharecropper here, and he was one of several actually in this small town. Uh, they then changed over to the gin company. The inter interesting part of this is that in her song, she talks about the gin company, and people seem to think that when they come here, they're going to find a... uh-huh. And you know, she never really explains it in there, but that's not what they're talking about. They're truly talking about the gin factory. Exactly. No, no, no drinking winky. Got speeding cars coming by. Not much else happening nowadays. We can actually walk across and take our time. Check this out. So Pepsi Cola. The ghost. Here's actually the sign. There it is. That was Jim Company. But here's what I like. That is cool, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know how you all are about the older signs, but Pepsi Cola, if you saw a Pepsi Cola sign, you were dying to go in and get one when you were a kid. And we also found another fun fact yes. is that everybody says, even the t-shirt I bought, that Tina Turner was born in uh, Nutbush. She actually was born where we were earlier in Brownville. When you think about it, you know, you're born there, but you live here. I would say that Nutbush is probably where we should consider her being born, right? Here's the way I look at it. Okay, Tina Turner was anime Bullock until 1967, right? So think about it. Tina Turner did not exist when anime was born so i don't know 
That's, no. That's all I got. We, we just know we love Tina Turner and she was here. I had a great time today, guys. Did you? We really did. It was fun. It was fun to be down there. We wanted to do something that was a nice homage to Tina and do it in kind of a way that was a little joyful, even though it was such a sad thing. And when we got to the Blues Festival, they added just the perfect atmosphere for us. Yeah, you know, we were thinking about when we got there and saw the Blues Festival, we didn't really tie it into her until we just realized how the people were there were celebrating through what they love, which is blues. And so you felt the vibe yeah. of, of it was all about Tina. We were kind of worried it was going to be a, a, a sad homage, but like I said, it turned out to be a lot better because of the Blues Festival going on. The folks were just really having a good time. We went to her home and we thought for sure we saw the church that she sang in. But yeah, well, <laughs> what we found online was where her house was was now just a patch of dirt, which there was a lot of patches of dirt and yes. there was no marker. And then we went to this church we thought was the right church and Looked did like all it. this video and all that. And then we came home and I was edit editing it and went, hey, <laughs> it's not the right church. Just to know that she grew up singing in the church. I mean, what a voice anyway. I can't imagine hearing her as a young kid singing. That was pretty powerful just to know that piece of her life. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, comment. Mm -hmm. Share the links. Uh, subscribe. And if you subscribe, please watch. You know, more than just a couple of minutes. That really helps the channel and helps it grow. Thanks to everyone who's helped us grow. We've grown so much faster than we thought we were going to grow. We've had fun doing this. We still have fun. We plan on doing it. And if you have a memory of Tina, you know, put it in the comments. We'd love to read that because we find out we get so excited when we go to these places like this and we're sitting around going, it was so exciting. And then when we hear read comments from you all about how how much you like that particular person, it just makes our heart, you know, just beat a little bit yeah. faster because we know that we've given something out there. We hope, we hope, and we've talked about it, we hope this video showed her in a way that just gave you a smile. Like I said, we wish we would have known the museum was there before, but we didn't. And well, I like to. I just. I'm just glad we get to to reminisce with you about her because we really, truly are fans of Tina Turner. See you in the next video. We we hope to see another place somewhere, and we want you to come with us and be a part of it. Yeah, remember, adventure is as close as the next off ramp. Fun fact. Yeah. What? Hurry, so on. the song, uh, Nutbush. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I just lost it.